Hi, welcome back to our devlog. On Monday we started off with a discussion about our volumetric clouds. If we can't make real 3D clouds, we can fake the effect by stacking 2D planes on top of each other. And apparently my man Bruce over here was feeling quite glitchy that day. Then we found out about a mysterious game object that caused our sounds to not work at all. We couldn't find a way to fix it, so we went to lunch. And because our school's cafeteria was closed, we dined at the local hospital that also served student lunches. After lunch we got to listen to a really interesting lecture about starting a game company in Finland. Here in Kajani it is for example possible to get up to 35,000 euros from the government to start your own company. After the lecture our designer choosed up our main menu with some textures that he got from textures.com which is a cool website to get textures for your game for free. A link is in the description. Then I made my other teammates watch my previous devlog. Well, he didn't seem amused. On Tuesday morning we found out the cause of our sound problem. Apparently the name of our moon asset could disable all of our game audio. Also our book mechanic is finally working. Because we had many issues with our build that day, one of our programmers got inspired. And here you can see the text files containing all of our crew dialogue neatly organized by our designer. Apparently we also got our first fan mail from our secret admirer. Here you can see a destroyed version of our boss fish and here's the head with some textures. Our artist wanted it to have really high end 2K textures, but we can't have those because they would drop our frame rate a lot. Here we are discussing whether we can really see the individual pixels in the textures. We ended the day testing the school's loanable PS3 consoles, but we also tested out this cool arcade controller we had. We are definitely gonna put this to more use in the future. On Wednesday we got to test out our new build and we also have a new cannon shooting animation. You might have seen the popular YouTube video of the professor who could make dotted lights on the chalkboard. Well, we tried to do that as well. <laughs> After a quick lunch at the hospital, our technical artist played around with some shaders and ended up making our ship look green, white and pink. He also somehow got our ship's floors to move. Then we played around with our sound effects. <laughs> I also learned that in F-Mod you can randomize the pitch of the sound effects every time they play. You can effectively get endless variations from a single audio clip this way. Our boss fish has gotten even more textures and apparently our pause screen has made our boat quite bouncy. On Thursday our technical artist finally got to continue with the volumetric cloud system. Also we got our boss fish's health and destruction mechanics implemented. Here you can see it hanging in the air for debugging purposes. Then after a lunch and a coffee break we went through all the remaining tasks in our project as a group. It took a while but was worth it. Then we got back to work or so it would seem. Here you can see one of our programmers actually working while three other people are just watching and a fourth guy is just there filming the whole situation. From one playtest session we found out that we had to make it clearer for the players when the parts of the ship were ready to be upgraded. So we tried out some things to fix the problem. 
but here our programmer took it way too far. We also got an updated cannon animation and some cool lightning effects done, but here our artist took that too far. And here you can finally see our finished Boschfish model in its full glory. We have many other teams at the school making cool games during the summer, and here you can see me testing out one of them. This game is a first person shooter where you shoot spoopy skeletons with a crossbone. Each room in the game is randomly generated, and as you progress, you will earn perks to improve your skeleton destruction capabilities. On Friday, our biggest agenda of the day was choosing our final voice actors. We got 15 awesome people sending us audition tapes, but sadly we couldn't give all of them parts in our game. Now we have 7 really talented voice actors bringing our game to life. I want to personally thank each and every one of you guys who took your time to send us your auditions. It means a lot to me and our team that you were interested in our game. Now that we had our voice actors chosen, we could continue making progress with other parts of our game. First, our technical artist tried fixing some of our shader issues, but ended up making them worse. Then our artist was given the task of making some small alterations for our captain character, but ended up creating nightmare feel instead. Also, our designer came up with a new design for our lure mechanic that we might test out if we have the time. The new system would allow the player to set the detonation depth for the lure bomb before dropping it into the water. But that is something to test at another day, because we had a steamship to board. Thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video. I really appreciate all of you who are willing to spend your time watching this. And as always, feel free to subscribe, like and comment your thoughts below. That was all for this week, see you next time.